<laughs> so you're finally here, Prenny Instructor. Morning, Axel! You! What do you think you're doing with those Prennies? What do you expect me to do about the sardine situation? Watch your mouth! What do you think helped your worthless vampire teeth after you lost all your power? Before you start acting all Prenny Instructory, you should think carefully about your place here. Give me back those damn printies! That's not asking, that's ordering! And you're not being polite at all! I'm the Warden of Hades! I control everything around here. If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up too! I only want to keep the promise I made to the printies. I have no intention of defying your power. Just shut up and give them back. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the printies back to you! What did you say? Are you telling me to break the promise that I made to the Prinnies? You, you don't scare me. I've been through much worse and survived to get where I am now. I'm Warden Axel. Axel, you cretin. Why can't you just calm down for a minute? My lord simply wishes to keep the promise he made to the Prinnies. Don't you understand that? If you dare to refuse us, then we'll have to resort to violence to force you to understand. Agreed! He who doesn't understand words must be given physical discipline. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying you. Man, the first time I was like, oh, I'm facing a boss already? But nah, it's just Axel. <laughs> Although, I'm, for chapter 1 1, this fight was not that bad. A lot. <laughs> I mean, a lot harder than a lot in a few of the other games. So, yeah, that's the masked hero. His speed increases the more he moves. Uh. Axel. Apparently the most powerful demon in Hades. He was a star in another netherworld. He's been in Disgaea 2 and 3. And honestly, I don't really like this guy. Uh, damage taken from human types decreases by 50%. Uh, annoying when he's a boss that you have to fight, and not that useful when you finally get him in your party, because he's usually a special character that you get. Time to bust some balls. Time to bust some balls. All right, so yeah, going for the, the combo, obviously. Let's go. Boom! Yeah. Boom shaka locker. He's on fire! He just leveled up. Oh, that Here shit's I fun. Come. Now I see, like I said, only Fenric actually made an action, so I could cancel the other character's movement and reposition them and tell them to do something else. Alright. Uh skull was just out of range, so I said fuck it, I'll just leave him out. Wow, those mass warriors are weak. Counter Wars. Man, Fenric's a beast. <laughs> he wasn't even standing next to Valvatoris, which I should have done. And I didn't even grind yet. Haven't had the chance to. Time to bust some balls. I got this. I don't think I'll ever get sick of that. <laughs> I got this. I got this by the ass. More combos. I'm gonna do it. Oh, here's a new one. What? How? Explain how they do that. <laughs> how do? They're only level four. Oh, this game. Oh, and a treasure chest spawned at the end. 
Oh, I just realized her name actually is Sardine Thief. <laughs> Weak ass cat. Pretty dude. Trying to find the best setup for my combo. The more hits in a combo, the each six sub uh, each like next this. attack uh, gets a bit more powerful. Yeah. All right, there we go. And one more little kitty. Who didn't do anything. A little bit of unnecessary healing. And I repositioned her closer to the other units because her healing increases the more units are right next to her. <laughs> a triple and a treasure chest. Totally not necessary. Do the treasure chests really deserve all that? I don't know why I bother with this cat. I'm not going to use it. And I never really use the printies they give you either. I make my own monsters. Uh, personally, my favorite monster classes are the wood golems. Those things are awesome. Oh, this was crazy. Ah! The pain! Oh, dear God! How do they even do that? Stage clear. So, you understand? I have no intention of disobeying you whatsoever. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can-do. Because that's the Corruptorment's will! What? The Corruptorment? What could they possibly be up to? Oh, that? Mass extermination of the prinnies! You get it, right? The rapid increase in the printy population is starting to be a major problem all over the netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, decreased test scores. These are all the printy's fault. The Corruptorman has organized a special task force to get rid of them. The Abaddon, a band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the netherworld president himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corruptorman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the prennies are gone. What about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? I don't see what the problem is. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool! The promise has already been made! Until I keep my promise, no one gets the prinnies! I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president! Please calm down, my lord. It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corruptorment. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corruptorment? Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them, and to break the promise I made? All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that for a demon, breaking a promise isn't- I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please, think back about all of the things that you've lost, just 
promise to keep the promises that you've made in the past. If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Let's not talk about that. Now come, Fenric, before the prinnies are disposed of. Alright, now that we beat the first level, um, they're gonna show me the pan <laughs> the campaign HQ. Let's take a look here. Fenric here will provide the explanations as usual. But uh, basically, um, you place your units on the on the grid, and more spaces of open up the more levels you complete, and for more characters. Characters adjacent to others have a higher team rate um, chance to perform team attacks, so that's useful. And eventually, I'll get these things called evil symbols, where I can place them on the grid, and if you're within the set parameters of the symbol, you'll get special bonus effects. For example, the first one you get is like a uh, some kind of pyramid, and if you're within the pyramid, you get 50% of the mana, which is what you get from killing enemies, of other members of the group. So say Valvatores and Fenric are both in the group. If Fenric kills an enemy, he'll get um, the mana, and Valvatores will get 50% of the mana Fenric just received. So it's really useful if you need a character that needs a lot of mana to build up skills. It's usually good to put your main character in, but particularly you want to put mages in um, that group. Why? Because they need mana for upgrading their skills more than anybody. They need it to learn um, new spells constantly, and they need it to upgrade their spells to, use to usable levels. I mean, mana does everything in this game. It's, you use it to pass bills, learn skills, learn abilities, upgrade skills, inherit skills, all of it in the character world, which is later, and creating new characters and reincarnation. It's, it's insane. So I'm, I'm just filling around with the menus here. Checking out this for the first time. Uh, call the Senate, this is it. Yeah, create new character. Here are some of the characters you can make. That's Valkyrie, the lady equivalent of the warrior. Flexibility, she likes uh, swords, spears, and bows. A little bit weaker physically than the warrior. Oh yeah, look at this. You can actually choose a personality for the unit, and that chooses what they say in battle. That's really neat. I like that. Ah, here we go. Here are my... Um, that's a thief. Physically weak, but they're really good for stealing. I never usually end up making one because y your, your chances are good enough if you're higher level than the opponent. So whenever you get to the point where you can just power level to level quad 9, then you can your stealing is a breeze. So that's why I never really bother to make a thief. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot of options right now. As you defeat monsters in the story, you'll be able to create them for yourself. And more generic classes open up as I level up um, either through the story or if I level up certain classes to a certain level. Uh, for example, I believe right now I'm trying to work on a Magic Knight, which is my favorite class. To do that, I need to level up a warrior and a mage to level 30 each. That'll take a while. Uh, because there's not really good opportunities to grind yet. Um, so it's going to take a few, chap a few chapters to get to that point. And even then, when I finally make my Magic Knight, um, uh, they're, they're really, they take a lot of work to make, to become really good. But they, they can do some of the best damage in the game later, and they're just my favorite class, so that's what I'm working on first. I think here I was debating whether or not to make a lady fighter at all. Um, and I figured, well, here's what I usually do. 
Um, I need. I know I need to make mages. I I make mages every game, one of each kind, because um, they're. I think they're one of the few, if only, units that can learn the maximum highest rank of the sp of each elemental spell. There's normal, then there's mega, giga, terra. Oh, sorry, omega, then terra. And if you want the Terra spells for other characters to learn later... Yeah, that, that's weird. <laughs> I'm trying to choose on the personality. Uh, here's something else. They're red, blue, and uh, green. And every time... Uh, I name my Wind Mage Faeror, I name my Fire Mage Din, and I name my... Blue Mage Nehru. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you what that's from. Most of you should know what I'm referencing. And if not, I'm sure somebody in the comments will enlighten you. Oh, check this out. I brought Mr. Hippo, but I like Mr. Elephant it's even more. Magic. It's magic! Woo! Each, every time you create a new character, they'll have an intro like that. Now, I don't have any space to make any more mages at the moment, so I think I have to delete some of the older enemy. Like, I'm not going to use you, I'm going to use a mage instead. The reason I use uh, witches instead is because they consume less SP. So, I mean, the, the skulls are technically more powerful, but also my... Alright, I'm just going to say, it's the Zelda. It, the Zelda names just wouldn't work. So here's where I decide to save, and I'm going to continue the story on in Chapter 2 in the next installment.